Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Bear with me on the GoPro today. We are gonna be using it to film, but I'll explain why in a second. Okay, so I'm currently loading up a little tool bag, raiding my toolbox here. And uh, I do eventually need to go to Harbor Freight and just start building a uh, external um, bag or just a bag I can keep in the trunk because it's a little annoying going through all these drawers, trying to make sure I get what I need. But I got some picks, some common size sockets, um i don't really think i need anything else i got all the stuff out of the drawers um the reason we're actually going today is because i have actually secured a keyless entry system but we're missing a couple things so hopefully i can find that little light that goes um in front of the shifter i don't think i'll be able to find a siren but uh i'm also gonna go i think and try and find another glove box uh to fix glove box sag because that glove box has to come out to do the keyless entry anyway, so I might as well just get a new one. Um, and I'm trying to think about what else. I'm basically going to grab anything that I don't have. Um, and what's cool is I'm bringing the car, so if I forget about how something comes off or blah, 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 I can just go to the car and look at it. And then also, I'm going to be taking a, one of my AC schnitzers down to get a 20540 test fitted on the 8.5 size wheel. It might be a little too much stretch, but if it looks good, uh, I'll be able to just put the full set of ACs on and I'll buy uh, 205s all around for it, but I definitely want to test it before I just commit to buying a size that may or may not work. We got AC, but we got no heat. Anyways, um, I loaded all the stuff in the trunk. I brought one wheel with me, so hopefully we can get that mounted up today. Um, it'd be a good test fit. And then I'm basically be, gonna be looking for anything Dove interior wise, because I really want to find some mint door cards. I want to find a new glove box. This sags a little bit. It's not that bad. I would like it to not sag. This panel under here, I'm going to be looking for hardware for some stuff because I can't find a lot of the hardware. Um, so I'm going to get some more hardware. As you can see, that little piece, that's for the illumination dial. I'm going to snag as much of the little stuff that I can. Uh, if I can find a new cup holder that doesn't have worn off shit, this whole center console. So I'll be looking for sure. All right, we're uh, posted up here at a FB RX-7. Just thought this was cool to show you. But um, as you can see, we're in the job section. So we need to go over to Euro Cars. But I posted one of these junkyard videos before and people seem to like it, so we'll do it again. So in terms of finding stuff, it's kind of tough, especially I use this app called Row 52 uh i'll leave or i'll just put some information about it in the description but basically you can search the pick and pulls and you can search what model you're looking for and it'll give you uh kind of their inventory as of what the app has but unfortunately i mean i saw some stuff in here but i don't really know what's going to be here i don't know how accurate the app is just hoping I find a car with a Dove interior that isn't absolutely destroyed. It said the most recent car was March 17th, so it's not too bad, but it's not new. It's probably pretty pulled apart. All right, so, so far there's no E36, but got an E38 here, an E38 here. I wonder if this is a 740, but God. Let's say, yep, 740. Took the badge, but it's a big fucking V8 car. Is it E90? Everything is destroyed. It's a 328. Whatever this was. Don't know what that is. There's nothing good here. I'm a little bummed. Is this an E36? Looks like it. Nope, it's a E39. Do not see a single E36, which is a little bit alarming. Alright. Here's the first 36 here. It's fucking hot out here. I wish I would have come earlier in the morning, but I don't have a whole lot of luck. Let's see. And the engine is gone. Wouldn't you know it? Look at that. No cracked towers. But um, literally everything is gone. That's a bummer because the uh, they took the whole nose panel off. Obviously, easier access, but. Makes it unfortunate for me that's looking for some pieces. Um, this thing's pretty thrash to be honest. And it's fucking tan. 
which is not what I'm looking for. I just wish people wouldn't break so much shit because it makes everything unusable. Here's the center console. If only it was dubbed because this one's actually not bad. This is the E60. Just wish I could get to this stuff sooner. These seats aren't bad though. I guess if you recondition them, I just don't have a use for an E60. There's no 36s around scene one. All right guys, so we did find the jackpot here. I'm gonna take this panel, clean it up. As you can see, there's nothing really wrong with it. it. Just needs to be cleaned up a little bit and there's no holes drilled in it like my other panel. But this stuff is just gonna have to be reconditioned. I'm gonna try my best to clean it, but just getting good condition dove panels, there's nothing wrong with them. There's no cracks, this leather is fine. Um, I'll check the other one, but I might take this wheel and sell it um i'm gonna take this whole centerpiece um so i can sell that and i'm gonna actually take this center console um i'm gonna get a new armrest but i'm gonna take this whole piece i think because i think that it'll fit in my e36 i just scored a glove box center console and this is for the under tray there. I could not be happier. I only paid 40 bucks for all of this stuff. Alright, we got the tires in the back. Sylvester just mounted a, a 205 for me. I'm not gonna lie, I think I overheated this car earlier where I was close to. So I guess there's an accident that happened southbound and everybody from the northbound lane was slowing down to look at it. So it was clogged two lanes and then the alternate routes were all backed up too. So anyways, I sat in traffic for way too long in this car and I got a little freaked out. My eyes fucking killing me, my contacts all fucked up. I gotta get home, we're about 45 minutes away and the check engine light for the E36 came on uh, when we were in traffic. It got really hot, the car got really hot. So I looked at it when we got to Santa Rosa Tires Plus and he said it's all right. I mean, cause he knows them better than I do, but it looked fine. It just, the car always freaks me out cause it smells like oil, but that's really because the valve cover gasket is leaky. So it's always just gonna smell like oil, you know? But I'll catch up with you guys when we're home. All right, so it is currently the next day. Um, here's the wheel with the 205. As you can see, there's a little bit of stretch going on. Here's the uh, 215. I'm going to keep these. And I'm going to try and sell them if I can. Hit me up on Instagram if you're interested because I'm sure these won't be sold by the time this video comes out. I want to test fit this today, but most importantly, I want to get that um, center console armrest thing in. And I will not be doing the glove box until I put my QS entry module in. But before I can even do that, I need to repair my trunk wiring har harness or get a new one. So that's not going to be for a while. But what we can do is clean up that center console and throw it in there. And we should probably wash the car today too. That's probably what I'm going to do um, after I get the center console in. So let's clean up that console because I know it's gross. All right, now I got everything disassembled. All the ashtrays, these little guys that go in the actual armrest. I won't be able to save this just because it's a little too worn. But I mean... I'm just going to try and find another one. We're going to rock it for the time being, just so I can get this thing all set up in here. But this thing is super gross. I'm just going to clean it all up. So these uh, center console pieces are kind of like Legos. Um, they're kind of interchangeable, but some things aren't. As you can see, uh, this is the M3 from my car, and it's a lot shorter. There's a section in the middle, and that's where that armrest mount goes. So we will be using this one, plus this one has uh, some wear on the side. But the length here where the cup holder goes actually just is the same size so i can just pop in the old one and retain the uh, stock cup holders and have an armrest so that's the best of both worlds in my opinion well we have just done it, it i'm not gonna lie it did take a few hours uh well just about an hour but anyways we got a fully working center console only thing i don't have is the little rubber pieces that are in between this so it doesn't move side to side but we got all the trim connected ashtray up here and as you can see we now have a center console and i managed to uh keep the stock cup holders which is nice and now i still retain the ability to have a cup holder with the change slot 
this little section in here. It is the perfect in between. Yes, this thing is beat, but uh, hopefully I'll find one soon. But this is uh, pretty, not that hard of an install. The only thing to keep note of on a coupe is you're gonna have like extra carpet when you pull this whole console piece out. You can just cut that out. There's like pre-cuts because um, they knew that you were gonna do that or some cars were optioned with it. But overall, I'm very stoked. Again, I just, I hate this, but it's cool that it's Dove, you know? Um, it's a little worn. I'm just gonna rock it for a little bit until I can find a better one. Or I might actually wrap this in Alcantara because I have the uh, material, or at least try and wrap it. But for now, I'm just gonna rock it like this. I'm very stoked on this. I'm gonna wait to do the glove box. As I said earlier, I'll wait uh, a little later to do that. But what I think I'm gonna do now is test fit that AC Schnitzer. It's a little too late to, uh, I guess, actually wash the car it's going to take a while so i'll probably just mount that ac up it really is the little things that make everything so much better i just hate how worn this piece is but other than that like it's super sweet because when i'm shifting i will actually use this you know so oh speaking of blown linkage that's uh, neutral that's in gear so but yeah i'm very stoked i'm stoked it went pretty smoothly only thing is is um, some of the stuff is kind of a bitch, but again, it's old BMW shit, so you kind of have to work with it. Actually, there you go. Now it's fully snapped in. This piece is kind of a bitch, and then there's like a bolt at the bottom of the actual console mount that's kind of a bitch to get to, but other than that, it's not that bad. Again, you gotta get rid of that carpet if you have excessive carpet. But now, um, the interior cockpit is getting more put together. I'm very stoked. The headliner is coming soon. Don't worry. I'm doing that very soon. Um, and then, like I said before, this is just atrocious, but we have a repair for that. And then down here, you can see the little play there because it's not bolted in. I got another one of those as well. So everything is getting pieced together. Yo, the neighbor just gave me, he's a... Uh, Auto hands or odd, odd something, I don't know. I thought it was gonna be a full set of four because I saw a stack, but I got stock RX-8 wheels too. I'm gonna keep these tires, so the tires. This wheel's a little rashed. This wheel, however, <laughs> is a little non-existent, so I'm just gonna get the tires dismounted and we can sell those. And maybe I'll make this one wall art and maybe I'll throw this one away, who knows? I can sell those. Alright guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, we got a lot more coming for the M3. Stay tuned. The new daily is coming. Um, it's not here yet, but it will be here soon. So uh, be ready. Get stoked for that because I can't wait to have another car and finally be able to put the M3 back in the garage so we can do more in-depth work. But trust me, there's a lot more stuff coming for the M3. Lots more content. So just uh, make sure to stay tuned, stay subscribed, and uh, hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.